everybody, it's Justin Slates here. Weighing in this morning at 244. Yesterday I was 239. I had a bulk day, high carb day Justin had, and it was like for me to do, my coach, Justin Harris. He got, I swear, like, that'll definitely keep you maintaining some growth on a high carb day. And then you just wake up the next morning and you feel, you not feel, you look so full and it's like it definitely helps been maintaining weight and probably even building growth as i'm getting leaner and i see it working which is good so i gotta thank justin for that 12 weeks out from mr michigan i'm really excited i'm feeling very confident for sure because everything's on track that's what needs to be done and uh what else should i say because i keep my memory I train my arms. My arms are really good. I think that's like really, really something that I have good on stage is my arms. They uh, ended up measuring out 23. I'm pretty happy about that, how big they are. It makes me happy that something is probably, probably, probably one of my best poses, I'd say. You know, and then, you know, anything. It's not it's not the rear lat spread, it's not the rear double bicep, it's the rear calves. Bring it. Bring the calves on. I'll win. <laughs> so I train today and I was like train arms. I wanted to start with triceps, like I don't know, like the past few days I've been having issues with my right tendon and it seems like whenever I start with a a curl or any type of movement of pressing of going in, it's just not feeling right. So I start with triceps. And uh, it made everything get better to where I could definitely get through the workout. Definitely start on them versus the bicep. And if you see, I did that incline. I like to do that rope and you just spread it out and you get that squeeze more. That's what I like to do. And if you saw I'm doing an incline because I'm trying my hardest to subtract any of my upper body strength of leaning over it and only arm strength. And it definitely, I can tell though, you get a little shoulder in, but it feels nice and tight. Nice and tight on my tricep. And then we did, what did we all do? We did these. I like those to put tension. Oh wait, you didn't see the kickbacks. I learned that from an old time friend is just, you get on the incline, you lay on it, and you bring your arms back, and you just do a kickback together. And I, it feels good. And if you see in the video, sometimes I'll go like that, and I turn it out like that to turn it out like that. It's getting a different squeeze of the triceps. And then, if you saw, I did over there, I did, uh, I did long bar curls, and that was uh, 45 pounds. I just like doing just the bar. I don't, I don't like to put too much weight on it. And I was explaining to you, it's like when your arm is straight out like that, what's bad, that can be bad for your wrists and everything. And, but it's just, it's so much tension for where it needs to be. And just 45 pounds like that just feels great. I don't know why, I don't, I don't need much and I just need to get that nice squeeze. That's all I need. And then we did the cable. I always love to change it up and do the preacher curl. And that was another way of doing it. And I like, I've always liked doing that. And the last one we did was uh, seated dumbbell curls. Yeah, we did seated. I didn't even, we didn't just didn't go up too heavy. I didn't feel like going too heavy. I just wanted real tension today. And that's all I really do. When I train my arms, I normally train, I, use, I think I remember that one time I told you I used to work them like five times a week. I did drop down because I've started to notice it's getting a little more difficult. I've had to been dropping my train down because the more I'm building growth, the harder it has been to heal. And <laughs> my training, I've been slowing it down from higher sets down to lower. And I'm like only averaging between ah, 16, sometimes 20, 15 to 20 sets, usually just about 16. and. We only did 10 bicep and tricep, that's all we did. But like ever since I started like getting heavier, I, and I just try to go less exercises and just heavier weight and high intense weight like that with good reps. And if, if you noticed in there, I was doing a lot of uh, pauses too. And I bring it down. Cause I've been trying my hardest to get squeezes on all of them. 
more than anything. And I suggest a different motion also for training my arms because I always adjust it all the time. So, and I've always, I'm gonna say it every time we do a video, another form of muscle confusion. It's worked for me and I promise you, if you do muscle confusion, you will make really good results. You can contact me, we can talk about it. And hey, we'll see how it goes with you. <laughs> I always switch it up. I like to do different stuff. I like, it's just, I never really worry about getting out the outer or inner. I just make sure I get that nice tension. I only want tension. And usually it works both sides no matter what. You know, and every day, like I do, I like I said, I always do, I used to do five days. I actually do three days now. And I go two light arm days. I seriously, just one bicep and then one tricep exercise. That is it, one bicep, one tricep, two, two times a week. And then I do a bl arm blast, and I normally do three exercises of bicep, three exercises of triceps, and that's about it on arm days. And I, I've been re-trying to adjust everything since I got that injury, injured my chest, but I bounced back pretty good. So I'm glad that, and I'm gonna be able to compete this year still, so that makes me happy. You know, <laughs> and hopefully, like I, like I said, I'm competing Mr. Michigan. This is a big comeback for me again, very big one. Um, this is the year where after like after my comps, I gotta get ready for another surgery. It's not gonna be brain surgery, but it's something that has to do with it. You know, I think I've talked about it before. Yeah, it's it still is. It's just not exactly the brain itself but like last time we did a video I was with Dan and uh, you know I can't remember all what happened but and I don't think I mentioned everything but everything that kind of went downhill has been a little bit over a year ago and it happened in February I can't remember if it was 14th or 17th I just remember it was February I don't know if we talked about that one about my apartment what happened no Oh, okay. I just don't want to keep bringing up the same shit, so. <laughs> so, in February, this is where it happened to where it was like official had to be the surgery. It was like, last year in February, I had a bad reaction to my medicine. I was on, you know, I've talked about it. I've been on multiple medicines, and none of them seem to work be based off of trying to feel normal. And I'm still on medicine that's making things a little bit difficult to feel normal. But I was taking a medicine that I used to have. Uh, I took, uh, I was taking three medicines before brain surgery. I was taking uh, Keppra, Lamictal, and Vimpat. Never had issues with Vimpat before brain surgery. And they wanted to try it again and get me off Keppra because Keppra, it was crazy. It's dumb. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm taking a medicine to prevent me to have seizures, but a side effect is insomnia. And if you can't sleep or get enough sleep, you're putting yourself at risk of having a seizure. So here we are, that just doesn't make sense. You know, so we tried Vimpat. We got off Kepra and tried Vimpat. And uh, so, like I said, in 2016, I never had an issue. And then 20, like last year, I get back on it. Uh, you know, I ate a protein bar, I take my medicine, and just everything started getting really dizzy. I started to feel very nauseous. I don't know what was going on. And I just felt like I had to puke really bad. Everything's very dizzy. I climb out of my bed and I just start puking really bad. Uh, then I blank out and I ended up in the ER. They said I was having a seizure and choking on my vomit at the same time. So, and then I snap out of it, I wake in the hospital and I'm just like, didn't know what was going on it was still very i was still very dizzy i didn't stop puking until like one o'clock in the morning at yeah at night i think i started puking it was like at 10 o'clock in the morning didn't stop till 1 uh, a.m at night and it was just it was horrible horrible time and then i get a hold of my doctor and i told him it's like nothing's working go through six medicines nothing's working and she's telling me, all right, we got to go back to testing. And I was doing some pretty good bulking on my own. And I was following Justin's stuff. And I was doing it good. 
And then before I had to do another testing because they said after six medicines, this isn't good, you know, because it's going to get to the point where medicine is just not going to work in general. So they had to to put me on another medicine, and they found one that works. But it's kind of similar to Keppra, but at least I can sleep. But I still feel really tired all the time, and it's affecting my memory in the morning. Like, I just, it takes me a bit to try to get to normal, basically. You know, it's basically hard to talk in the morning. <laughs> so, so what's going to happen is I'm going to compete. And I asked him, like, well, I want to compete still. And it was like, after I compete, I'm going to be having the surgery. First thing that happened, what happened was in October, before I, uh, I was taught, I talked to Justin before October and I said I'm gonna pay for a year for you to coach me and get me ready for Mr. Michigan but before we started I had to do another seizure evaluation it was my third this one was called the spec evaluation so what they were doing is it was crazy it was nuts so they would uh, I would have to these people would come in at between 5 a.m. in the morning and stay there till if I remember right four o'clock in the afternoon and they're just by my bed waiting for me to have a seizure because what they're going to do is they're going to put a dye in me right when I start having a seizure and the whole point of it is to figure out the exact location they would have to put that chip in that would they place there to when time comes like when it's there if a seizure has happened it's in that exact same spot to electrocute it to stop and they said the side effect would be if you're to have a seizure still, you're just going to kind of go off for a daze for 15 seconds, and then you're just going to feel tired. But that's 10 times better than actually having a seizure. I'm like, I'm staying confident about it. And they said, it's good that I made this choice. Everything I did was optional. In 2019, it was optional for me to do a seizure evaluation because seizures started coming back. And I did it. Uh, some people think it wasn't a good idea. I did it because they ended up finding out a bad area that was damaged. Okay. Then we go lots of medicines and I said, we got to figure out what's wrong. And then we said, well, let's get the test, get the testing going for uh, brain surgery again. And I get the test going and I have a seizure evaluation in the spec seizure evaluation. Just like I said, they need to find the location, but they also check my brain waves. And they said from 2019 to 2020, a year, it has got a tad bit worse. So they're saying that I made a good choice by doing this because they said if it's already seeing a little bit of signs of getting worse, that means just give it time to where it's going to get worse to where they'll actually literally have to take another area out of my brain. And they said if that was to happen, I'd be going through a very bad memory to the point where it only, it'd pretty much be like dementia. Uh, going by and that's possible before I'm 40 already dealing with that that's not exactly something I want to deal with you know I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to you know feel normal you know that's what I like to do but I'm just uh, getting by and just staying strong and I'm ready for Mr. Michigan I'm doing good I'm very confident and this is the year and I'm, I'm being dead serious after this after uh, Mr. Michigan going to win it and then uh, we'll go nationals I, I'm going based off what Justin said it's, uh, his call but I'm going with it and I'm ready to go